The Battle of Cressy. It was a decisive battle between the English and French armies. An army of English, Welsh, and allied troops led by Edward III engaged a much larger French force led by Philip VI at Cressy on 26 August 1346. Edward commanded his men at arms to fight on foot rather than stay mounted. This battle also saw the use of some very early cannon by the English army. The English army numbered some 4,000 knights and men at arms, 7,000 Welsh and English archers, and 5,000 spearmen. The English busied themselves by digging ditches and laying out caltrops in front of their position. The exact size of the French army is not certain, but it was substantially larger than the English army and numbered around 20 to 30,000. The French army was led by Philip VI and the blind John of Bohemia. Mercenary Genoese crossbowmen formed the vanguard, followed by a division of knights and men-at-arms led by the Count of Alençon. Edward's force was split into three divisions. The flanks were protected on one side by a forest and marshy ground, and on the other by the village of Wadi Khor. Mercenary Genoese crossbowmen left their pavises back in the baggage train. As the Genoese mercenaries advanced, a sudden rainstorm broke over the field of battle, resulting in damage to their weapons. The French army unfurled their banner, Orithlam, indicating that no prisoners would be taken. Seeing the routed mercenaries, the French cavalry hacked them down as they retreated.
As many as 15 waves of French cavalry attacks were driven back. The pile of dead and wounded men and horses in front of the English position grew ever larger. hard-pressed by the French attack. At this time, a messenger arrived at King Edward's post by the windmill, seeking support for the Black Prince. The king refused to send help, saying, Let the boy win his spurs. Blind King John of Bohemia tied his horse's bridle to those of his attendants and launched a cavalry charge. All were dragged from their horses and killed. Philip was injured and had his horse killed twice during the battle. The battle ended soon after the king's departure. Numbered around 300, the English casualties were low. The surviving French knights and men-at-arms fled the battlefield. 1,542 French knights met their deaths. The Oriflamme was captured and taken. The body of blind King John of Bohemia was found by the Black Prince after the battle. 